Comic-Con will continue to call San Diego home through at least 2018. The mayor announced this morning the city has reached an agreement keeping that convention in town until 2018. Such a big deal for San Diego and 10 News reporter Marie Cornell live in the East Village. And Marie, we know negotiations have been going on for months, so what sealed the deal here? I asked and I was told there were two reasons. One, they were able to get the additional meeting room space outside of the convention center and two, they were able to reserve rooms for the attendees. Now, Comic-Con draws in at least 130,000 people each year. Uh, it also brings in millions of dollars in revenue to our city, an agreement that was threatened because as a Comic-Con spokesperson has said, the convention has outgrown the space at the convention center and the city has failed to get a convention center expansion, not able to get the funding needed for the project. The other concern, making sure convention goers got deals with hotels all of that now set aside as a convention and the city has come to a two year agreement keeping the convention in San Diego. But what happens after two years and how will this affect a convention center expansion? This was their response. We will figure out the right approach. We will figure out the right funding mechanism. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing in the months ahead. Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, we're going to do it. My hope is that we'll be able to stay here for a lot longer, but we won't know until such time as the negotiating really starts. We also asked if the Chargers Stadium dilemma played a role in negotiations. The Comic-Con spokesperson said that did not play a factor at all. Live from the East Village, Marie Cornell, 10